trends we're witnessing in the luxury truck market are truly incredible. People keep buying these upscale pickups even as they become more lavish and expensive. And the truck that started it all is the GMC Sierra 1500 Denali. Hi, I'm George Kennedy for CarGurus. And with the new Sierra on the way, one has to wonder, what is GMC offering to make you consider the current truck over the upcoming 2019 t model? Well, for one, GMC sweetens the pot by making previously optional infotainment technology standard across the lineup. Just as important, it comes standard with these rear corner bed steps. Now, even at six foot three, it makes stepping into the bed easier. It's a simple solution to the complex problem of offering rear bed steps. And the best part is no moving parts, nothing to break. The Sierra is impressively spacious inside. It honestly feels like a well appointed study, and the center console lid is the coffee table. Of course, if you don't need all this space, you can get the base single cab or extended double cab. There's also short, standard, and long beds. As we mentioned in our F-150 review, GM and Ram trucks have conventional rear doors, but Ford trucks have rear hinged half doors. While that rear hinge design makes for great big openings, it requires the front doors to be open to climb into the back seat. The conventionally opening doors on the Sierra double cab are a bit tighter to climb into, but they're easier to open in tight spots. Trims to the Sierra are base, SLE, SLT, and Denali. The base truck, simply called the Sierra 1500, comes standard with Bluetooth connectivity, a six-speaker stereo, power locks and tailgate, as well as a tire pressure monitoring system. For 2018, GMC makes previously optional equipment standard, including a reversing camera and the seven-inch infotainment system. It runs GMC's intuitively laid out IntelliLink infotainment system. You can easily swipe through menus and you can customize the screen by dragging icons. IntelliLink also comes standard with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto for enhanced connectivity to your smartphone. The SLE had some creature comforts, like satellite radio, a Wi-Fi hotspot, and a larger 8-inch IntelliLink screen. It also comes with the easy lift and lower tailgate, which eliminates the need to slam the tailgate it should make it last longer over the lifetime of the truck. The SLT adds plenty of features, including leather seating, heated front seats, and dual zone climate control. But the real luxury gear is on the Denali like our test model. You get the leather seats like in the SLT, but they've been upgraded to provide heat and ventilation too. You also get a heated steering wheel, a seven speaker Bose stereo, navigation, and a wireless charging pad for your smartphone. But with all this luxury equipment, still no push button start? The Denali is an overall more luxurious truck than the F-150 Limited, but at least Ford offers a push button. Four engines are available to the Sierra 1500, starting with a V6 that makes 285 horsepower and 305 pound-feet of torque. If you want V8 power, the 5.3-liter V8 delivers 355 horsepower and 383 pound-feet of torque. There's also an e-assist mild hybrid version of this engine. It makes the same power and torque, but improves fuel economy. The range-topping engine is the 6.2-liter V8. It makes 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. The V6 and smaller 5.3-liter V8 comes standard with a 6-speed automatic transmission. The 6.2-liter V8 comes standard with an 8-speed automatic, which is also an option on the 5.3. Power gets sent to the rear wheels or available four-wheel drive with low range. When properly equipped, the Sierra 1500 can tow up to 12,500 pounds with a towing capacity of 2,250 pounds. Our towing capacities vary by model, and our four-wheel drive Denali has a towing capacity of 9,100 pounds. Getting around town with the Sierra is a bit of a chore. The big squared off angles that people love unfortunately make for tough sight lines when parking, and the handling sometimes feels cumbersome, especially in more densely populated areas. But in more rural areas where you have room to move, the Sierra is commanding and comfortable. As for fuel economy, the most efficient engines on the Sierra 1500 are the V6 and the 5.3 liter V8 with e-assist. Both return fuel economy of 18 miles per gallon city, 24 highway, and 20 combined. The conventional 5.3 liter engine with rear wheel drive returns 16 miles per gallon city, 23 highway, and 19 combined. 
Our test model with the big V8 and four-wheel drive returns fuel economy of 15 miles per gallon city, 20 highway, 17 combined. The Sierra 1500 comes standard with six airbags, Stabilitrack stability control, and a reversing camera with dynamic guidelines, which is now standard for 2018. Another new standard feature is the Easy Fill Alert for the tire pressure monitoring system. Instead of having to bring a tire pressure gauge around with you, when you fill up the tires on the Sierra, it provides a visual and audible alert when each tire is properly inflated. You can also get the Enhanced Driver Alert Package, which is available on the SLE and SLT. It includes forward collision alert, automatic high beam control, lane departure warning, and front and rear parking sensors. This package is standard on our Denali tester and also includes a safety alert driver seat. This seat vibrates the side of the cushion you should pay extra attention to for blind spot alert or lane departure warning. If the alert is behind you, say for a backup sensor, or ahead of you for the collision avoidance system, it vibrates both sides of the seat. The 2018 GMC Sierra 1500 has a starting price of $29,000. That's for a base model with a regular cab and standard box. A base double cab starts at $32,900, and a crew cab starts at $38,700. A popular trim, the SLE with crew cab and four-wheel drive, costs $42,100. At one time, that would have been a lot for a truck, but check out the Denali. It starts at $52,900 for a short bed rear wheel drive trim. Our four wheel drive Denali came with the ultimate package, which adds about $7,450 to the price. Toss in this special paint at $300, the 22 inch wheels and a few other options, and the price tops out at $64,345. Many truck buyers won't even balk at that price anymore, and the Sierra is patient zero of the luxe truck market. But GMC caters to more than just luxury buyers. People buy trucks because they need them and need them now, and the current Sierra offers outstanding capability, and honestly, I think it looks better than the upcoming 2019 model. So, even with the new one on the way, it's hard to argue with the style and capability of the 2018 GMC Sierra. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to see more videos, like our reviews on the Ford F-150 and Ram 1500. And if you think the upcoming 2019 GMC Sierra is worth the wait, let us know in the comments. And to read my full review on the 2018 GMC Sierra, go to cargurus.com.